And for a closer look at gaining residency in China, we're joined by Lu Ping, Washington correspondent for the China Times. Thank you so much for joining us again. Thank you. How difficult is it to become a permanent resident in China? Okay, technically it's harder than having one in this country. Um, you have to invest half a million US dollars in China for three consecutive years. Or you already have a position not a lower than associate professor in a university or a vice president in an institution or company. Or you are joining your family, which is already in China. Uh, or um, you have a great and outstanding contribution to China, such as a Nobel Prize laureate or a, a Olympic medalist. So it's not easy. What is the attraction? What is the draw to grant these uh, permanent resident cards or these green cards to some of these people? And do you think it could get easier? Oh, yes, because the um, Chinese government has announced uh, a serious um, uh, process, such as uh, simplified application for permanent residence. And uh, you may apply for driver's license. That's the most important. And you may in, uh, enroll your children into Chinese schools. And uh, even you do not have a Chinese citizenship, with a permanent resident permit, you may enjoy similar rights as a Chinese citizen. You just with your uh, foreign country's passport and the Chinese green card, you may re-enter or exit Chinese territory with uh, much, much simple. So it seems like China is streamlining the process. Why do you think they're doing so, making it easier for some of these professionals, uh, professionals especially in the fields uh, uh, in tech and science, you mentioned some of the other categories. Why do you think they're making it easier? Okay, you know, uh, China is uh, shifting away from an export-driven economy toward a um, service-based economy. So um, many Chinese, or maybe I should say most Chinese companies are encouraged or re require uh, to invest more in research and development. When you try to boost more high-tech uh, upgrades, you need more talents. And uh, if you do not have um, enough talents from domestic, you need that from a foreign country. You may ask, why does China have no its own uh, talent? There are at least two reasons. First, China's one-child policy. And uh, let me give you one number, or maybe two numbers. The median age of China now is around 30 years old. But in 2050, it will be 44. So China is facing a serious aging problem. Uh, secondly, more and more economically capable households have sent their children to study overseas. And many of them, maybe most, uh, settled after graduation. So one Chinese government-owned newspaper dubbed that situation as the world's worst brain drain. So that means you have to get some uh, talent from uh, overseas. So it's really attracting and retaining some of that foreign talent to help uh, in China. Um, what else do you see as far as you know, people wanting to go to China and wanting to become a green card holder? There's mm -hmm. an increase in that as well. Yeah, you mean uh, how could they be attracted to China? I think the, the culture is a um, uh, uh, factor. Uh, China, we still have so many things we do not fully understand in China. We have watched so many things from TV, from the uh, movie about this country, about the, the America. We'd like to see more in China. I think that's one of the reasons attract us. Yeah, we, we saw two U.S. citizens actually give up their citizenship uh, recently in, in the last couple of months to become permanent residents yeah. of China. Yes. Right. Uh -huh. Luping, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.